very often you get to see one of them running. So what I'm doing is adding a little bit of plaster into this rest of the cup. <laughs> and then I got my daughter's cup here, which is a frozen cup I'm using. Filling that up with water. Then I take my stick, which is a dowel, like a dowel rod, pretty much. And then I stir, stir it around until it's kind of runny. Not too thick, not too runny. And then you can just brush it on and kind of go over just a second coat. That way it makes it look more better. That way you don't see your uh, plaster roll from using the uh, plaster cloth. You just want to cut it to like sections like this or how as long as you want it. Dip it in water and just drain it like that. And then you come up and you can lay it to any shape you want. Yeah, you can see. So you want it kind of like that. Where it's like milk. Liquidy. And you just take it a little bit and then you go over your mountain. Of course, I have to turn my LED lights on. Oh, that's much better. I'll need my layout. And you just want to kind of just dab it on. That way, it kind of gives you that kind of things you can do to it. Actually, I think my print is done. Wait, it sounds is just being quiet. Of course, my printer is pretty quiet most times. This is nice. And I love printing on it. The only thing I don't like doing is leveling the bed all the time to make sure everything's correct on it. That's why I want to get a new machine later that has it built into it. Where it levels itself out, which is pretty cool technology today. So this is what I'm working on now. What I'm doing is I'm hiding all these. You see here, I didn't have to do all this, but I'm hiding all that. So I have my rock. I'm gonna do the uh, ballast. For like instance, up here, oh, up here, it doesn't fall through the cracks and everything else. So I got the hot glue up in here. That way it seals all that up. Toilet paper works the best for opening those tight areas. The flat areas like cardboard or where we got to put down will work the best. That's what I did from here down, down to there. I don't know how the other side is going to look, so I have to use my front facing camera. You can kind of see right here, that ain't too bad, I guess. I don't need to see how bad my, yeah, my stone wall. Up in here is gonna get glued again. No big deal. Doesn't look too bad, I guess. It's gonna have its moments, I guess, but yes. Well, it looks pretty good. I mean, I can't hear yeah, because my phone can't fit in here. So I can't really see. Oh, I see my camera car. And then you can see the hot glue up in here. Try to go slower. Uh, the, the mountain looks great after the third coat I just gave it. Looks really, really good. I love it. I really enjoy it now. Looks like I got a uh, little dip right here at the patch in. Big deal. Oh, spider. How you doing? Sorry, guy. 
And yeah, and it looks like a little bit right here. I'll just leave that like that. Oh no, it looks really, really good. And then my Sasquatch, where do I put it? Since I 3D printed a new one. So this guy can go maybe something like up here because objects are smaller. But obviously he's going to be painted and everything else when I'm done. It's going to look awesome. But yep, that's about it so far. I'm done. And then soon I'm going to be patching this up. I'll show you how to do all that with my... Oh, that's not it right here wood or water putty wood patch he just it's like pretty much like uh plaster made out of wood though and you can just come in here and just patch that in like nicely so all the gaps are gonna be covered and looking nice